So you've been wanting to earn some extra money online so that you can pay off debt, stop living paycheck to paycheck, or just have extra money to actually live and not just survive. I was in that same exact position a few years ago before I started selling digital products. Some of you guys maybe have never heard of digital products and others probably think that it's too saturated or too late to start, but I've done all the research for you so that you as a beginner can start, you know, selling products, choosing the right niches and actually knowing how to stand out so you can make money selling digital products. At the end of this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can actually start creating these products completely easily. Like you don't have to be a designer or anything like that. I have five really, really good product ideas to get your juices flowing, but just know that everything requires a lot of work, time, and effort to make any of these successful. This first unsaturated digital product I actually came across because my sister needed this. And so I like went online looking for a solution for her. And I stumbled across this product that is unsaturated people in this niche I mean, there's not a lot of competitors really but the ones that are there are making thousands of dollars per month with this product and it is super easy to create as a new shop, this shop has already earned about $70,000, which is excellent money for either replacing your full-time job or having, you know, an extra side hustle going. This shop sells digital baby announcements. Now people like my sister wanted to like share, you know, hey, I'm having a baby and they didn't want to just send like a boring text out, right? And so people create these digital pregnancy announcements that are super cute. You can text them to people, email them to people, and it's just announcing either your new baby or if you're having a baby shower or anything that really requires a digital announcement so like you guys can do this with either you know baby announcements wedding announcements baby shower bridal party whatever people need to announce via text or email you guys can create something for this again at the end of the video I'll show you guys how you can make these products super easy but if you want to get into this I would say that this is about a four on the ease scale zero being you know really hard and five being like super easy it's very easy to create and there's not a lot of competition so I would say that this is a really good one for newbies who want to go in and just test the waters but like of course you have to put in the work for creating and marketing the product if you guys need help with marketing your digital product I have a video that I will link in the description that is all about marketing your digital product and if you guys need extra extra help I have a whole master class about how to market digital products, create ideas, like all of that, email list, everything, that will be linked in the description below as well. This shop has sold thousands of this unsaturated digital product idea and that could be you as well if you started selling vision board kits see people want to create vision boards especially like around the new year and stuff but a lot of them don't really have the time and energy to be thinking of like a bunch of different pictures and quotes and stuff like that and they just want to buy some like photo dump basically of pre-made things that they can add into their vision board or their mood board. You could be the one who is compiling these pictures, even creating some of your own, also compiling like words and quotes and stuff um, that people can be putting on their vision board. Now for these images and pictures, you can use um, stock footage websites. Just make sure that you have the commercial rights to actually like, you know, put it together and sell them. You could also create your own images you could use um, AI as well to create some of these images and you can go in Canva and create cool like quotes and you know words and stuff like that that you can add because people are selling this for like a very low price you're gonna have to sell a lot to actually make money but the way that you can increase the amount that you're selling it for at least get it to like you know $15 or $20 or whatever is that you can couple this with journals and planners and like prompts and stuff like that so it's like a a whole package so not only are they getting like pictures and stuff for their vision board but maybe they're also getting like you know a vision board life planning template or planner or something and that way you can increase like your average order value because like, I don't know, I don't really feel like you guys should be selling things at just like $2 or something because you're gonna have to make a lot of sales to actually see good money. But this will also make your product like stand out against others because they're like, wow, I get all this other stuff in addition to like 
the pictures and stuff that I'm getting, like that's a good deal. As for ease with this one, I would say it's about a three on the scale, not because it's very hard, but because it is a bit time consuming because you actually have to like, you know, put together all these pictures and compile them. So it's not like you have to do a lot of work, like you don't have to be like a designer, but you do have to know like, okay, what pictures would people maybe want on their vision board or their mood board or whatever. And then you have to just know how to compile them the right way and where to compile them from. So it's more time consuming than it is actually hard. This shop opened last year and is already making tens of thousands of dollars selling this one product. And of course I did the research that you guys can start selling it too. We've all been to like a bridal shower or a wedding or a bachelorette party or, you know, a birthday party, whatever it is, some kind of social event. And of course, if we're socializing, like we don't want to be on our phones, of course. So that's why people have started selling printable games. Now printable games are just any type of activity that, you know, the person downloads your PDF and then they print it out for whatever social event that they're planning. This could be an icebreaker event with coworkers. This could be bridal shower games, you know, baby, like baby party games and stuff like that. But they print it out and there's activities that the guests or the people at the event can do together. And it's like a bonding experience for everyone. So this shop that I found is a seller Selling all of those printable games and I've honestly found so many shops who are selling this but when I look at like the Etsy search results there's only about a thousand results that come up which means that there's not a lot of competition if you guys look at other you know niches sometimes 10,000 20,000 50,000 results come up and that's who you're going against but with this one like it's only about a thousand results that come up and it is pretty easy to make it's about a 2.5 on the ease scale um this is because like like there are ways that you can get like pre-made templates and I'll explain that later and then you can just customize it. The way that you're really going to stand out here is just by focusing and really like doing your best in one niche to start, for example, baby shower or bridal games or whatever it is. And then from there, you guys can start adding other things to your store. But I would say like really like go specific first and then kind of like branch out as you go. If you are a parent, a teacher, a babysitter, or you have siblings, just anything where you have like some experience with kids, then you guys can start cashing in on this next digital product idea. This next digital product idea is making like this one shop is making thousands of dollars just based off of one simple listing. Like it's actually not even really a complicated product at all. All. This shop is on track to make six figures selling this next idea and no, it is not saturated right now. So if you're going to start with this, better get started on it ASAP. So parents, teachers, homeschoolers, babysitters, they all want, you know, their kids to be learning things. Of course, some parents just use their iPad, but plenty of people just actually want something physical that their child can fill out and they are going to be learning from that activity sheet. That's where these learning activity pages come into play. Now there's different ways that you can do this, but I really think that it's good to offer personalized learning pages or personalized learning books like this one shop is doing because that way it's just not something generic that they can buy at Walmart. It's actually personalized to their child. So if it's like a handwriting worksheet, then maybe, you know, you have the child's name and they could practice tracing their name and stuff. Like you can't really get that at, you know, Walmart. Also, this is really good because you don't have to necessarily create anything up front and hope that it sells. You can have your listing photo and then when people people tell you their name like in the personalization box then you can create it so I like it because you're not putting it in like a lot of work and like nothing really sells you really create the product when that person buys it and then eventually you'll have like you know a reservoir or like a bank of products and names that is just repeat so sometimes when people make an order like you don't even have to create something you already have that name like James or John or Mike or like these basic names you know you don't only have to create name ones but I just think that personalization in some way is going to be a really good way to stand out as for ease this is going to be a 2.5 not because the activities are hard to create but it does take a bit of um, extra imagination and creativity to make something that's actually fun for people, fun for the kids. Um, you don't have to recreate something, just 
look at what is already working and like see how you can use that and put your own spin on it. Um, but it does take a lot more mental power than some of the other ones here do. Shops are making really, really good money selling this next unsaturated digital product. This product is not only one that I use, but one that I have actually promoted and gotten traction to. So Notion is a note taking template. One of my favorites. I use it all the time, like for my content planning and stuff. It's totally free to sign up. So if you guys want to go and sign up for Notion and play around, like, you know, feel free. Um, but with Notion, you can actually create some kind of template. So I have one that is like for planning my content. I also have one that is like for organizing my new digital product business and stuff. You guys can create templates for various things like teachers or businesses or vision board or dreams or whatever and then you guys can sell those templates the way that i do this is i'd create a template based on you know something that i like or based on my research and then you make a listing on etsy it's not very saturated right now and then the person downloads like a link to your notion template and they can duplicate it and use it for themselves as for ease, I would say it's about a four because it's not hard to make a template. Really anybody can. It just takes time to be honest. So as long as you have the time to put in, you can actually, you know, make a good product. I told you I would show you how to make these products super easily. So that's what I'm going to do now. In order to do this, you are going to need a creative Fabrica subscription. Um, it's really like good price. It's not expensive at all, but this is how you're going to get like templates and all the assets that you need to create each product so we can go here to the search bar and we're just going to type in like printable games right because this is one of the things that we're thinking of selling let's press search we can see that so much comes up for like different printable games we even have like these um, math you know printouts so you guys can use this for the learning activities printable games for kids um, there's some over here uh, bridal shower printable games right so we have all of these different printable games that we can use bingo everything so let's go ahead and just click on this one Again, make sure that you have a um, subscription and make sure that it says commercial and full POD, which is print on demand usage allowed, right? This is gonna allow you to actually resell these things. We have another one here that is a bridal game. So this is who knows the bride best. And afterwards it says Canva. If it says Canva, then that means that you can actually edit this yourself. And I like to make sure that here in um, Creative Fabrica, it says this amount, you know, if people have added to favorites, I try to make sure that this is the least amount possible, just so that I know that not a lot of people are using, you know, this one um, so that I can stand out better. So I'm just going to press download. Once I download and open the file, it's actually going to come up with a document where you can press get template and it's going to open up Canva. This is what it's gonna look like when you press get template. So all you need to do is press use template for new design. So once we have the template here, then we're able to edit anything. We can, you know, either leave it like this or, you know, we can change the font over here um, to anything that we want. So maybe I wanna change it to be you know, whatever font that I feel like looks best. Um, I could also change any of these questions. I can change the font of these questions. And, you know, I can do this with as many different ones that I want to, and then create like a, you know, a package of these like bridal activity games or baby shower games or whatever it is that I want. You can do the same thing with like, you know, um, learning activities. So I can say kids learning activities. All right. And so we have all of these that come up. We have a printable calendar, alphabet worksheets, all of that, homeschooling planner. All of these are things that we can customize. Um, just make sure that it says customizable because some of them you can't. So if you want to add like, you know, Canva in the search, then that makes sure that it's customizable. But there's other ones that you can customize that are not in Canva because Canva is not the only platform. Canva is just really easy.
As for the Notion template, you're just going to have to create that yourself, to be honest. Like this is the one that I created for um, my digital product business that is going to help, you know, guide people and stuff. And so I did this because I have made so many Notion templates uh, over the years. And so it's just kind of like, you know, that's from me learning, but you guys can always teach yourself how you guys can make a Notion template as well. Make sure that you guys are signed up to create a Fabrica. The link will be in the description for that. Otherwise, good luck on your digital product journey.